And on today's episode, we look for loads on the Georgia-South Carolina state line. Stick around, find out. Might be a secret rest area right there. You can walk down here. And uh, that's what actually moves up and down and pushes on the spring. Um, those head bolts, probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. And a JB hook. Oh, that was nice of you. One nine seven six five from Fleet Guard. So that is a wrap. What do you think? You good? Every state is probably going to be different. Little Carolina Panthers and the Saints going. What are we eating? Yogurt? Nah. Yes. 100 plus 100? 200. Can you turn around? No. You cannot get on my back. <laughs> Love you, Mama. Guys, be kind to be great tomorrow at school, okay? Why do you always leave me every time? Because I have to work. I love you guys. <laughs> I'll bring the drone with me. Everyone attack. No attack. <laughs> All right, I love you. Yes. Okay, I will. You want a hug? I'll be right back, Bubba. I love you. I'll be right back. I'll be okay, Kai. I love you, Bubba. Bye-bye. End of the world. He's like, why do you have to walk? Beautiful sunset. Got some baseball going on over there. You can hear it. A baseball game at the park. Okay, that fall is coming, guys. Feeling crisp and beautiful out here. Beautiful crescent moon, moon, beautiful nights. All right, let's get over to the lake, get some sleep, watch a little bit of football. Coming over the overpass back onto 85. It's a beautiful night, guys. 71 degrees, crescent moon, just beautiful. High weather seems to be uh, flowing pretty good. I could have stayed at home tonight and left early in the morning. Figure I'd get the truck advanced tonight. 7 o'clock and uh, be ready for tomorrow and then I'll be closer and I can happen to zero traffic because between where my lake property is and the uh, drop there's not a lot of traffic if I was going into Atlanta I probably would have went all the way there tonight so a lot of uh, things go into booking loads when you're looking for something going by Atlanta if it's staying outside of Atlanta on your side that's, that's a good load if it's going through Atlanta or into Atlanta ooh, that is traffic depending on the time of the day Okay, 85 is cruising good though, and I checked the score a little bit. It was three to three. Uh, Carolina Panthers and Saints. I think they have a second game too. The Browns and the Steelers, I believe. So something to watch. Probably catch the end of it at the lake. Reset the house. Uh, we turn on the inside camera again, and we have Wi-Fi for like all the locks and the air conditioning and stuff. So Tina just turned the AC down for me a little bit. And very nice. And very Hard saying goodbye to Kyle, and he always thinks I'm leaving forever. But li literally, does he not know how much I try to work to get back to see them? So hopefully, he'll see that, remember, and, and uh, understand that someday later on in life. But I love you, Kyle. You're always my little emotional, beautiful soul. And I love you, Casey Cash, too. And you all play your own role with our little family. So love y'all. Okay, let's get over there to the lake. Going to stop at exit 21 QT because uh, I don't have any food at the lake house. We clean out all the food when we um, have renters, like all the produce, the lunch meats, that kind of stuff. So I'll grab a wrap or something just for dinner so I'm not starving. There's snacks there, but eat some protein, a little chicken, something like that. There is a bunny, no, it's a bag. I thought it was a bunny sitting there, but it was a paper bag. What does he have on his, uh... I thought that'd be a low enough gear. I guess not, we'll go for another one. See having his RGN, a big concrete arch right there? I don't know. We'll hide over here because we do not need any fuel or anything. Pull up out of the way. What was their fuel price?
price. Let me see it. Four twenty nine. Okay, okay. We have our wrap. Check the score again, and uh, second half's just starting for um, the good old Saints and the Carolina Panthers. is six three. See you later, QT. And we're at the lake. She is cooling their oil down. Let's check out how these wrenches left the house. Very nice. Pulled the sheets, pulled the pillowcases. I love it. And the kitchen, amazing. It's always nice when you have great renters, guys, because otherwise you got to charge cleaning fees and all this stuff. Folded the blankets again. What do we got? 13.6? Okay. And yeah, let's do some laundry. Thank you. All right, I'm going to get some sleep watching football. We'll deliver this load in the morning. First game didn't end so well for Carolina. Had some good things happen, but they ended up losing. Um, life back from t Dub. She has a whole other set of, of uh, sheets. I just cleaned out the bathroom, restocked the toilet paper, did some vacuuming, and changed the sheets for her other set. Now I'm changing pillowcases because we have more renters next weekend. She just got them. So, awesome. That is a good thing. Pay for the house, please. Clemson games. Uh, <laughs> We'll take it. I'm going to finish up all this and finish up the second game. Good, beautiful morning. Finishing up the last of the towels and uh, she's staged. She's ready to go. Let's go ahead and get out of here and hope our uh, renters enjoy it on Friday. Let's go. Beautiful morning. Let's do our pre-trip. <laughs> Sleep good, chicken. second clip usually it's it, it lets it pass and that's what i had i had a couple three second clips of a song 
I had to go back and re-upload it and mute that. <laughs> Uh, it took forever to load it, and then um, it ended up copyrighting it. I was like, oh my goodness. If you're going to uh, use the YouTube tools to uncopyright it and then mute the, that piece of... It was only like a two and a half second clip of when the boys were hitting a ball. And uh, it was a cool song that, that went with it, but they wouldn't let me put it. So, And I said, guys, TikTok is like playing all the music in the world for free. I'm not an advocate for TikTok, but... <laughs> anyway, so I had to re-upload it. That's why I dropped this morning. Um, but... All right, let's go talk to some people. I'm out of that guy's way. Let's see uh, once, once he's done with them because it's 9 a.m. on a dot and that's our appointment time. Oh, it is bright. Probably should have brought my sunglasses. Uh, yeah, but the sun just came out. Let's get in the shade. <laughs> well, let's go check in. Okay, they're working on him. And I'm working on getting in here. Got some more of that bad stuff. So we have recycled plastic. All the X platforms. All the underneath skid plates, all that stuff. Oh, okay. Not Inside. Ever. The factory's right around here? Down the road about four miles. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So four miles that way. They make all the BMW interior parts and some of the skid plates underneath. Uh, he said he just finished them up, and once he pulls out, I'll get in there. <clears throat> okay. We are Red Airline back on. Ready to go. Really quick unload, 10 minutes, and a nice guy. So I was looking up a little bit about that F-35 that went missing yesterday. Um, it landed right by that Lake Marion we were talking about in the other video when I drove over that bridge going to Florence. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Some, someone said they might have hacked the plane. He might have had to eject because he lost control. I don't know. But it flew by itself from North Charleston all the way to Williamsburg, South Carolina, and then crashed. So I don't know. Sounds like a little bit of a uh, software, software warfare. But let's go look for that load, get some uh, breakfast. Probably one of the coolest Burger Kings I've ever seen, the way it's set up. There's <laughs> his swords. Yeah, pretty cool. Pull the sword out of the rock. Really cool. All right, we're just getting a breakfast burrito. Go, go, brother. That's a nice truck. Yeah, he's pulling glass in the back of that. He's got glass. two, yeah, two A-frames with a bunch of glass. Chase the first letter of his name of his trucking, and you got my last name. Oh, really? Wiggins. That's cool. I'm like, look at this. I'm meeting you. Seen another truck. Almost <laughs> got my last name on it. Nice. Well, nice meeting you, brother. Yeah, nice meeting you. You too. Go. I'm get on home. No worries, man. Thanks for stopping by and seeing me. Thank you. So yeah, I'm just sitting here looking for a load, guys, but it is Tuesday blues, as usual. If you don't know what a handle is, guys, if you're new to trucking, it's your CB call name. Like, I'm J, I'm JT, or just trucking. Uh, that's my call handle for everyone. Everyone's pretty much gave me. He grew up with his uh, his dad, his brothers, and all them trucking. He he didn't get into himself, but he uh, just wanted to say hi. He said he's watching the channel for a little bit, and it's great meeting you, man. And he has a brother uh, who just passed away recently, and uh, he put a memorial on the back of his van for him so we'll check that out his, his call handle was cornbread and that's pretty cool man it's awesome take care of yourself man nice people out here just trying to make it happen and our other buddy that came by with that black peterbilt nice truck man um he pulls glass in the back of that forty six thousand pounds he has a couple of a-frames sitting uh in front of each other and they put the glass on both sides he got a dedicated route wish i was dedicated right now no nah, i might not do but i don't because i like going different places but right now, it is not great for loads. And if you ever come to this little place, don't pull in Burger King like I did. There's parking behind Burger King for trucks, but you can't get through. So I'm kind of right here. He's like, yeah, you can't get through. I'm like, oh, I realize that. <laughs> There's a place to park a couple trucks on the side right here, but uh, the next egg entrance lets you go for there. So keep looking for loads, guys. But if it doesn't get something in about an hour or two, uh, we will start heading back towards South Carolina. Just nothing really happening today, guys. Um, I don't know what to say with the loads. It is Tuesday, so typically not the best loads, but I thought there'd be something, at least anything going somewhere. A couple of uh, $900 ones all the way down to Jacksonville, uh, 1300 all the way to Tampa. So I said, no thanks, maybe next time. Let's get back across the lake and we're back in South Carolina. Oh, in 
second thought, uh, I went ahead and stopped at exit one. The rest area, George is right there. That's the bridge we just went over. And we're on South Carolina, so the South Carolina side now. But you can get through the trees about 30 yards and you can come on down here and do some fishing, do whatever. Um, relax and enjoy the, the lake. Probably going to get a little colder in the next couple months, but right now we'll go for a swim. Who knows? The water level sure is low. I just didn't want to keep going. If I do get something back over here, Athens, Jefferson, somewhere, Buford, getting a load going down to Florida. Um, I don't want to waste the fuel. So I figured I'd wait another hour. But why not wait here? You know, why not have a little lake? Good old Lake Hartwell. But yeah, that is uh, Georgia and South Carolina border right there. A good looking, good sounding truck. What do we got? It's pulling a small container. Sounds good though. Got that exhaust flowing. Okay, just keep looking for a low, but yeah, just uh, pull off exit one and you can walk down uh, kind of back behind where the end of the parking is. Here's a couple little paths you can get down here. So when the water level's up higher, it's probably a little bit better, but yeah, maybe it's better for here. Maybe you could fish from here. Anyways, I'm done rambling. Let's keep looking for loads. At least we got something cool to look at. Tell you what, that water is still very nice. Not too cold yet. Okay, nothing so far on the low boards, but hey, walked down a little further and found a survivor. Wonder how old that thing is. Park right there. Walk right through over there. Take it right down there. All right, let's refresh. So I've never been into the uh, Welcome Center, South Carolina. Pretty cool. Been to the Tennessee one. Really cool, actually. <laughs> That's cool. You charge your phones if you want. <laughs> Very nice. Station is closed. Oh my goodness! The sign back there was knocked off halfway. The one that said pre-pass, that one's completely gone right there. The tree fell down too. So all kinds of stuff. Save the signs though. Sign lives matter. Um, there was these loads over here on the left. There was two of them listed today. They counter off for 14. They did 1500 yesterday on a counter offer, but 1400. And you can see tomorrow they have them listed like an 1100. So. Uh, if you're around here and you're taking a solar panel load and, and that other city is just the same city you can see it's the exact same miles they just listed it under a different city i don't know why and then there's these uber loads these have just popped up before i left i bid 800 on them i'm um, going over to costco south of, you have to go through atlanta but you know i can do it tonight listed at 45 i bid uh 800 uh they counter offered 525 and then i uh, lowered my bid to 755 and then they listed it at six, what, six eight, eighty five, six thirty five, something like that. And then it disappeared. So someone took it, or either someone took it, or they're bouncing until tomorrow or something, because it picks up in about an hour and a half. I could have made it there, no problem, but maybe someone else got it. But not much pickings today. And then tomorrow they're, they're listing loads for cheaper for the solar panels. So I don't know. But we will cruise these last uh, forty miles, thirty five miles towards our house and uh, see if anything pops up. I might stop at exit twenty one. I might stop. There's a new Loves I haven't seen or haven't tried out yet. It's on the other side of the highway. But stop somewhere, look at the loads one more time before I sh shoot down towards our house. Uh, just not a great Tuesday, not at all. A couple here and there, but nah, not really. Okay, let's get into South Carolina. Try to get over here. Poor guy got a tire got out. I don't know if he should be nursing it. He's going to start ripping apart right now there. But you can see his back outside tire. His hazard light's not working either. Come on. Look. Ruckers, truckers. There you go. There's not really a truck stop up here um, for a while. you got to go almost to exit 60. That's 12 miles. He'll be able to exit right here, but have to try and find tire service in Mount Tome. He's a piece of that. Yeah, he's uh, still rolling. Still rolling. Yeah, he's got his blinker to the shoulder side. He's working for the front of the truck. There, save the signs. More signs knocked over. Um, 
but his blinker on the back of the trailer is on the uh, outside. <laughs> of course, things. He's got two out of four blinkers. There you go. Take care of your trucks, guys. Take care of your trucks. Take care of your tires. You can get a uh, tire with wheel, new powder coat on it for the trailer, for 22.5. Um, for two hundred and fifty dollars, come on, let's go, let's go, Toyota or Ford. Uh, please don't hit your brakes. I was giving you an opening. Okay, never mind. Accelerate on the on ramps, please. Uh, yeah, two hundred and fifty dollars from Southeast Trail Mart, right there, right by where I live, Simpsonville. So they have them pretty much on hand all the time. So if you notice your tires getting real bad on either axle or all of them thousand dollars plus some tax and you got uh, all brand new tires on your trailer so my outside left side driver's side outside rear or front tire takes a lot of pivot when I turn to the left uh, it's got little wear marks on it from that so that's the only tire I see is being a problem in the future but I'll just grab that one for 250 and keep rolling the rest of them are great tread and good condition okay let's get off here Made it back home, sitting next to the FLD. Do like testing with the hoses, like spray patterns, I guess. I don't know what they do, but look here on the left, there's a $7,000 uh, load going over to California. I was like, oh, that's nice. But read the fine print. That's <laughs> 11 other stops, and it's a total of like 4,000 something miles. I was like, wow. Uh, not that great. Maybe just a one shot, but that's how it used to be. It used to be you could get um, six, seven, eight thousand dollars from out here to California and then come back for ten. People would do that, team running, and not anymore. Not anymore at all. So uh, then there was this load from CH Robinson. I just looked up, emailed them. They said trying to do just 400 on it. I said, Well, I got a dead end over there, man. If they want to do it for 650, let me know. But uh, he said, Probably not. So I said, okay. So yeah, just not a great day for where I was. and Loads that were available. Uber has a couple, but I ha I'd have to go back out to Florence or Charlotte again. Nothing like right here. So we'll see if we get some to, uh, later on. But it's almost like boys just got out of school. It's like 2 o'clock. So school's letting out, and these guys are spraying like crazy. So we'll get home to see them, and I'll uh, keep looking at the boards for today. But it might be a wash for today. Uh, let's see what tomorrow holds. Red Wheels, thanks for getting us home safe. Oh, man. I wish I would have got a load, but hey. Thought I was meant to be. Let's see what these crazy kids are doing. And T-dubs. Found a sword in the garage. Hey. It was in the garage. Hi, oh, beautiful boy. Oh. What you guys been doing? Was school fun today? Oh, yeah. yeah. I like your outfit, mama. Oh, okay. Very bunny. Bunny on the head. Someone got hurt today. How? Someone at school? Yeah, and Casey got to take him up to the office. Really? Yeah, and to the middle. Oh, I can do it. How did he get hurt? Um, so he, he tried Tiki. to jump. He jumped over somebody, and the person in front of the person that he jumped over tried to pull him up, and then he fell off. And then he bumped his his the, teeth, his head. His head. Um, the, the person eye. in front of him bumped his head into his butt. Whoa. And it's purple a little bit. Yeah, it's called a black eye. There's a big, there's a big red thing right there. What? Was it a recess? Uh, yeah. Ooh, how about your school? Uneventful? So far, so far, I've been bored. Right I've now. been bored. I've been bored right now. Why? Because I can't have my iPad. Well, because your brother's iPads are getting fixed. You can't have yours if they can't have theirs, right? And, they and have their computer. Like, me, and, me and Kingston were playing um, yep. um, what's it kickball. Kickball? Soccer? Soccer, yeah, soccer, nice. Me and King were playing soccer, and the other people were playing um, football. Do you want to play soccer this year in, in a, a league? Yeah. On a team? I want to play it in um, school, too. Okay. Cool. So Where I is your youngest brother? Honestly, I don't know. Your neighbor took our kid? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You keep well, yeah. Cash gets stolen by Gigi. The neighbor steals Kylan. She just sent me a text. She goes, why is he so cute? He's crazy. Why? Oh, yeah. Speaking of Kylan, guys, check out this clip on the left real quick. I'll have to mute it probably because of copyright, just like the video last night, but... There's no, no, no there's no music. Oh, yeah. Here's Kylan, guys, singing. Let me see. I said, go to you. I'm a 
Are you Superman? I like your singing, dude. Your singing was really good. Um, thank you so much for the P.O. box today. If you guys ever see me on the road, thank you so much, Scott, for uh, all these combat yeah. checks. I don't use them that much anymore because for yeah, a fact, I'm it does. Okay, you can get them in back. Yeah, I, I forgot. I'm talking to the video. We're talking to the video. We just saw you sing. You sang really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and thank you so much to Brian for the uh, awesome card yeah. and Circle K. It's for donuts. Yeah. Thank you so much. Donuts and candy in the morning? No. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. And then we had uh, Creed. Wow, that's a nice hat. Thank you so much. It was awesome. Gary. Development. Oh, that's a nice shirt, too. Thank you, man. That is super nice. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. The P.O. Box is 808-72 Simpsonville. Appreciate you guys. Yes. Okay. What? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Let me, let me look at. You on my back? Okay. All right. If you see me out there, guys, you want to calm down a check, just come and let me know, and I'll give you one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I think we're gonna go practice a little basketball. Um, buy your kids Jordans, they said, and then let them drag the front of them on a scooter. Hey, what? What? I want to show it. You want to show it? Okay. Just happened my shoes. It just broke my because I'm driving my bike. So now I'll show you on this one. So Kason's been asking me. Wanna go practice basketball? Wanna go? I got yeah, I think I'll do this. Oh yeah. So we headed to uh good old Wally World um to get some basketballs. Outdoor, two for oh, ten. Two, two balls for ten dollars. Yes. And the whole time we were trying to get the pirate, Colin Cowan had it. And I, I, felt, had it. I felt the hat. I was right. Well, you, okay. Good job, guy. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah! <laughs> we came back to the truck just to get the drone. Okay. Did you have to go all the way up there to get it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I thought you could have just got him down here. All right, come on down. Be careful. Oh, yeah. Go drone in hand. Me. All right, basketball time. Let's do this. Which ones? I can pump them up. I bought a pump. Yeah, Somebody else met us. She's going to show us up this, on the hoops. This What's one's up? the perfect one. It goes right to my okay, face. Okay, sure. You know what there you go. Do? Yes. I kind of want to see you and Mama. Uh oh, Mama and Dad one on one? They said they kind of want to see Mama and Dad at one on one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Mama's not a big basketball. Nice little court, though. It's right. Down the street from my, my truck. Shoes on. Mom with the banks. Kason with the almost. Mom, you like the bank shots, don't you? Mom might beat me in one on one. Yeah. A little more, Case. A little more oomph. Dude, you just made an awesome shot, dude. Good job. Dude, <laughs> nice shot, man. Oh, some dribbles. Okay. Is that good basketball practice for today, Kason? Yeah. Okay. Oh, cheeky. We're home, buddy. We're home. On that note, guys, we got this dude for the Halloween decorations. We got spiders. We got the nice. We got shirts. Oh, yeah. This one goes in the dark. Oh, my goodness. And we will look for a load tomorrow. And I guess we're going to fly the drone because Kylan is obsessed with it. My front right tire is low on air. I got to fill it up. Got it. Okay, you got your drone? All right, well, we'll fly that, but God bless you, and we will.